This organization is accusing the Tehran of supporting those armed groups in Iraq. The other question is, if Syria was attacked by the Americans, what would be the response from the Iranians? So, uh, are they going to condemn? The other question is for, uh, for Mr. Hoshar Zibari with regard to your, your last visit to Washington and the other European countries. Uh, do, did you find those, uh, those countries who are willing to attack Syria are serious? And would that be before the 20th of this month? Well, the presence of terrorists in Iraq that uh, had an extensive relation with the government of Saddam in the Iraq repression, this is what we find a, a mutual threat. And we still think so. Uh, we are sorry to say, despite the efforts of the Iraq government, the terrorists uh, were not ready to leave uh, the Iraqi soil, and the, uh, uh, it led to the clashes that you just witnessed. Well, regarding Syria, uh, we will try utmost uh, to uh, prevent a war from happening because we know that warmongers, those who are going to start the war, they can never end the war on their own. We know that the U.S. president is uh, ensnared in a trap uh, uh, that's uh, planned by others. And without any personal willingness or inclination, he has entered. And we are hopeful that through prudence, he will get out of this. A trap and would not uh, set out f uh, fire in this region, the, the extinguisher of which would be a very tough thing to do. So we uh, do hope that uh, through cooperation, exchange of views with our Iraqi friends and uh, other peace-seeking uh, uh, nations would stop any war in this region that would be detrimental to everyone. With regard to the first part of your question, just I would like to add what happened in Ashraf camp. The Iraqi government set up a committee in order to investigate those events, and we said and many times that there is no place and no space for for those in our on the Iraqi soil. And we ask the international community and the, all the other uh, other countries to, in order to 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 accept them in, other, in a third country. I think this uh, stance is a practical one. It's not a, um, uh, it's not emotional one. And for that reason, despite the responsibility of the Iraqi government on our soil, uh, but again. 
there of course we have we have responsibilities and there are some uh, the, some foreign countries have uh, promised us and the pledge to 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 accept them and but uh, unfortunately the number was very limited and that was uh, this uh, this is the official uh, Iraqi uh, Iraqi stance and all the all the sites all the parties have been informed with regard to the other point uh, uh, to to the uh, to your question yes of course i was in in washington and in europe and in fact uh, uh, <coughs> We didn't. We did, they didn't tell us about any date, exact time. Uh, we talked about about those. Uh, we talked uh, with those countries about our position, about view, about view, and we told them that uh, the uh, intensif intensifying the, the situation in Syria, of course. All the regional countries and neighboring countries will, would be affected, and Iraq is one of those countries, of course, would be affected see, uh, from security point of view and from those refugees who, who would flee Syria. As you know, there are more than, uh, more than 700,000, maybe more than that, that Iraq would accept them in the future. And uh, you know there are some some uh, some uh, terrorist groups are uh, functioning bet uh, between the two countries, and we are really worried about that. But if this uh, this attack would would this would be crystallized, I don't know. I, to, to be honest with you, some countries are willing to see this military attack, but other countries are wait are are asking for patience and for more time, and they do not know about this time uh, to to start this military attack. Uh, on the 20th or the 21st of this month, uh, of course, this, uh, those countries would decide. But I can assure you that Iraq would not be a corridor or would not be a base for any, any aggression against Syria or to give any facilities uh, in, this, uh, in this respect. And we are doing, uh, in, in fact, with some countries and with uh, some parties in order to, uh, we, are, uh, we are asking them for the political solution in Cairo, for example, and in the, in the Arab League meeting, we, uh, we talked to some countries uh, about, uh, about the necessity to push the, the matter towards a political solution. And, uh, uh, and nobody can uh, solve the, uh, the Syrian problem except the Syrians uh, themselves. This is our stance, our position. Thank you very much. Please. Yes, the other one who, who is wearing the blue shirt. Thank you. Uh, you are welcome, uh, Mr. Minister. Just in your last uh, last uh, press conference, uh, I am Ahmed Zubaydi from. Uh, uh, you said that uh, Geneva too might uh, convene in the uh, in the past uh, could have been uh, convened, but uh, this uh, up to this moment has not convened yet. So, uh, and if there there was a military attack, what's the future? of this uh, at the, the beginning uh, yes I, I i i might have been the first official who warned uh, warned that the uh, conference too would not convene uh, at this uh, quick and uh, and i had said it publicly and it was surprise it was a surprise for everybody because we knew about the situation in syria and the region and in, of course if there was uh, if there has been a military attack i think this uh, this matter would be delayed maybe 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 uh, the, the parties would not be ready to participate in geneva two conference and it might be a hinder for the, any political solution to now there are negotiations and there are meetings of course as you know in september but there would be, uh, I, mean, I, I, I mean, in a couple of days, and the General Assembly of the United Nations and the, all the countries would talk about this. Uh, but of course, we need the, the approval from all the parties involved in, uh, in Syria. This uh, conference for the Syrians, but not for the region countries. As you know, the other parties have to facilitate uh, for this uh, uh, for this conference and to pressurize the both sides in order to go to the negotiation table and to reach a political solution. But uh, again, I am telling you, there is no uh, no no time for that. No date.
Uh, please don't don't ask repeated questions. My question is uh, for Mr. Zarif. If Zia uh, Hatim from Al Huria, uh, if uh, there has been a military attack against Syria, uh, there are some some contradicted uh, contradict, uh, 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 news that uh, that Iran, that Iran might uh, attack some American interests. For example, the 